Today is Monday, February 22nd, and this is Citrus TV Now. It's currently 35 degrees and snowy in Syracuse. I'm Ralph Flax. Here are today's top stories. Now, the former United States Attorney General Loretta Lynch released the bias and failures of DPS and SU administration report and detailed the handling of the Not Again SU protest. Now, Lynch spoke earlier today about the investigation and what she expects from the university going forward. Let's take a listen. We have come up with um, 23 specific recommendations for the Department of Public Service that we feel will improve both their investigations and their community policing and community engagement and 10 specific recommended changes to current, current standard operating procedures and policies that we think will also help them uh, and, and begin to regain trust with the community. We, had, we were working with a law enforcement expert, a former police chief there, that's uh, from California who worked with me at the Department of Justice who was the head of the Community Oriented Policing Service uh, at the Department of Justice when I was the Attorney General and also was the Executive Director of President Obama's Task Force on 21st Century Policing. And in an email sent to all South Campus residents, Syracuse University has set new occupancy guidelines for the South Campus apartments. Now, those guidelines are dependent on the size of the apartment. And meanwhile, outdoor gatherings will be limited to 10 people who are socially distant and wearing their masks. And New York legislatures are looking to strip Governor Andrew Cuomo of the emergency powers he has. Now, this comes after Cuomo withheld critical information relating to nursing home deaths. Now, the New York State Senate Deputy Leader Mike Giannaris says the Senate has the support to pass the bill. And coming up, Citrus TV has a live special report detailing the former United States General Attorney Jeff Loretta Lynch and her DPS report. And that's all the time we have on Citrus TV now. For the latest, follow us on Twitter at Citrus TV News and check out our website at CitrusTV.com. I'm Rob Flax. Our DPS special report is coming up. Stay with us.